Guys, this is Barn with Pro Box Respect TKO. I'm with a young professional boxer, Hannah Rankin. Hannah, yeah. how are you? Nice to meet you. That's yeah, good. you too. Um, we met here uh, a few weeks ago in a London gym, courtesy of somebody we know both quite well, Darren Hamilton. Yeah. And uh, and here we are. Now we're doing an interview. Yeah, it's great. So perfect. So originally, um, you um, well. I'll say originally, let's go back to your background. So you're originally from Scotland. Yes. And now you're living in London. Yes. So how did that come about? Well, I've been living in London for the last seven years. Okay. Um, I moved down to do a master's degree. Um, I'm a classical musician. So I moved down to do my master's at the Royal Academy of Music. Yeah. And that's how I ended up here. I always wanted to live in London. So okay. um, pretty much dream come true. Yeah. Uh, and I love the city. So very happy here. Perfect. I, so I did say to you, um, you know, I didn't know where the accent. I was trying to place the accent, but like you said, you you know you've got a lot of English influence as well. So yeah, my mum was English, so I tend to have the same accent as her. But weirdly, my dad's very broad Scottish, and my two sisters are quite broad as well. Really? So it's a really weird scenario. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whereas you've got the uh, picked up more the English accent. So um, you went when when did you actually go professional, Hannah? Um, I had my professional debut on the twentieth of June. Twentieth of June. Twentieth of June. Right. Please remind me, because I'll probably get it wrong. What was the lady's name you boxed, her surname? Esther Konechka. Konechka, that's it. Who was ranked number seven in Europe. It would be 20th, 20th of May, sorry. 20th of May. Because we're in June now. We're, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, right. June so on the same same evening as the show in Copper Box, but you, yes. you fought. Okay. And she was ranked number seven in Europe. You beat her on your professional debut. What did that feel like going into it? Because Surely you must have been a little bit daunted thinking, right, I'm going to fight the number seven fighter in Europe. Well, I wasn't originally set to fight her, actually. Okay. Um, I was meant to be fighting somebody a little bit uh, lower down in the rankings, obviously, for my pro debut. Yes. But um, we'd been trying to get my pro debut started for quite a while, and by that point I was really, really ready to fight. And they came back with the offer of Esther, um, number seven in Europe, and yeah, I was ready to go. I didn't want to turn the opportunity down, and yeah. I, I was daunted, but actually looking forward to the challenge. So it was good. Well, fair play to you and uh, well done because um, I've never heard of that before. I'm sure there might be a couple of cases out there, but to 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 be somebody's number seven, well done. Um, you. You're in the super welterweight category. Yep. Um, is that is that a weight you're fairly comfortable at? Yeah, I'm very comfortable at this weight. Like it doesn't take me a lot to get to 70 or 69 kilos. So my my next fight's uh, set at 70. Kilos. Okay, and you're quite tall as well, aren't you? Yeah, about five nine. So. Five nine. Wow. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. So um, I won't stand next to you with your high heels on. Yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hannah, so I know uh, you mes uh, mentioned that you're a musician by day, yep. boxer by night. Tell me a bit about that. How do you juggle both? Um, so. A lot of people think it's very strange to be doing both of them, sure. but actually there are a lot of similarities. Um, as a musician, I'm a performer, so yeah. I'm on the stage, I'm in orchestras, I'm doing concerts and things, so you get the adrenaline from that, uh, and it's just performing, and it's kind of the same in boxing. Uh, I get in the ring and I perform at the yeah. right moment, at the right time. <laughs> Absolutely, but um, you've got a really great background in music as well, haven't you? You've been to the Royal Academy of Music, uh, you performed with the St. Petersburg Theatre. Yeah, St. Petersburg Ballet Theatre was an amazing wow. opportunity. We did a whole run of Swan Lake at the Coliseum. Okay. Um, I was playing principal bassoon for that. So, it, yeah, it was a fantastic experience and one that I'll never forget. <laughs> now, as part of that, you've obviously travelled so many different places. Um, I read on your bio somewhere, it was India, China, Poland, Mauritius. Um, do you have a favourite place you've been to? Um, or oh. India. I don't know. I really enjoyed going to India actually. Um, I was in the very north of India in Ladakh, oh, okay. so up in the Himalayas, and yep. I was working with children in schools there, teaching and playing. Wow. Um, and it was amazing being at high altitude. I came home super fit. Yeah. <laughs> it was brilliant. But uh, no, I really love the food there, I love the people, so I think it's my favourite place to go. So very, uh, India's very rich in culture and the people, I mean my, my family come from Punjab, yes. which is a little bit lower down yep. in uh, north, north India. Um, was it a bit of a culture shock for you initially? Um, it was, it was different, it mm -hmm. definitely was. I found, we flew into Delhi, I found Delhi quite stressful. There's so many people. Can be, can't it's, it? And it's super, super hot, um, yeah. uh, quite muggy, but 
then when we got up north, it was quite like being at home because I grew up on a farm in Scotland. Okay. So it's very mountainous, just like home. Yeah. <laughs> so I quite, quite enjoyed it, actually. Yeah, I think Delhi's one of those places because it's, it's the main hub as an airport and, and it can be like a bit like organised chaos as well, yeah. isn't it? So, so many people trying to get through and uh, yeah. so on. But um, I'm glad you enjoyed India. I really enjoyed it, yeah. um, Now, you're, you've also got uh, a background. Before you came into boxing in Muay Thai, yeah. Um, now, um, Derek Williams, who we just met outside, former Commonwealth and European heavyweight champion, he's now your manager. Yes. And we've got Noel Callan, who's obviously your, is he strength and conditioning? He's my Tra trainer, he's my he's, boxing trainer. Okay, your boxing trainer. Yeah. And plus we, we know. He also does S&C with me as well. Okay, so, yeah. and plus we know you, you know, you work with Darren yeah. time to time. Yeah, definitely. How does that all work? It works really well. I started off um, doing Muay Thai when I came down to London because I was doing it at home in Glasgow. Yeah. Um, and I really like combat sports, so I thought that's how I ended up at gym box. Um, and then when my trainer left, he handed me over to Derek, and I didn't really think I'd ask Derek to do Thai boxing with me. So right. um, I started to learn boxing. Yeah. Fell in love with it. Um, and then I got kind of to the stage I wanted to do white collar fights. Um, and that's when Noel stepped in to be my coach and be in the corner and we hit it off like house on fire so now Derek manages me and Noel trains me and we're like a great team together. Good, good. Listen, I'm a big, um, you know, avid of, of, um, of women's boxing. I think, you know, there's some great boxers out there. Um, I mean, I enjoy watching Katie Taylor. I'm sure at some point I'll come and see you as well. How, how does... Um, What's the reception like for you from family, friends, people in the industry? How, how, who, do they embrace it? or? My family have been really supportive. Yep. Uh, I used to do Taekwondo when I was quite young. Okay. Both my sister and I used to compete in that when we were about 10 or 11. So I think it, they're not surprised I'm doing a combat sport. Um, yep. I'm quite competitive, but I also like the discipline in the sport, so it suits me. Um, I think that the UK still has a little way to come with mm -hmm. female boxing. Um, in Europe, it's much more accepted for women to be boxing. It's very normal. Uh, I do a little bit of sparring with uh, Michaela Lauren. She's the five times world champ in my weight category. Yeah. Um, and she's headlining bills over in Sweden and stuff like this. So over wow. here, it's still a little bit behind. But yeah. We're starting to catch up, which is great news. Yes. It can only be good news. Yes. Um, but yeah, no, I do think it has a little way to come. <laughs> you also met. Um, Want to throw in another name in there? Uh, who's the WBC super middleweight champion, Kelly Morgan? Yeah. Um, so you've got yeah, yeah, you've got first class sparring partners, haven't you? Yeah, fantastic. I think that's really helped me um, to progress to the level I'm at now. Um, you learn the most in sparring, uh, and it definitely encourages you to learn things quicker when you <laughs> you know when you first meet them. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Michaela, I love sparring with Michaela, and I love sparring with Kelly. I'm really looking forward to getting back in the ring with her. Perfect. So, really well, you good. mentioned Michaela, Michaela Lauren. Um, quite interesting because um, I read somewhere about. Um, have you heard of Baddy Jack? Yes. Right. So Baddy Jack. Who, They're quite good friends. Oh so, really? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I I I read somewhere that professional boxing wasn't as accepted um, over in Sweden. So hence why he made that leap across America. Yeah. So um, so uh, Sweden has, as far as I can tell, has an amazing amateur background and things yeah. like that. But a lot of, when I was over in Sweden training, yeah. um, a few of the people I was chatting to were saying that, you know, the UK is the mecca of boxing. Like of people really want to come to the UK. We want to perform and like box in the UK. Um, but over there it is a lot, it's, it's catching up. The rest of Europe is a bit further ahead, like Germany it's very normal to have female boxers. Sweden's now behind Germany and now we're behind Sweden, I'd say that. Yeah, what about Poland? Levels. Poland? Uh, Poland, yeah, good boxers yeah. there. Um, I think Europe in general is a little bit more ahead when sure. it comes to that. There's the more used to having professional female fighters. Yeah. Um, but uh, Michaela's done an amazing thing over in Sweden. Cool. She's like, you know, five times world champ, you can't knock that. <laughs> Listen, you can't knock that, you know, that's, uh, you know, it's high pedigree. I think what Badu, uh, what I saw the quote was him saying that, that there's certain formats, so for example, they can only get like four, six round fights and that sort of thing. Yeah, so, it's a lot more flexible elsewhere, and I think uh, it's starting to change now, obviously, things are developing, yes. but I can see why he went over there, because it's, you know, great training over there as well, and a huge wealth of boxers to meet sure. and work with, <laughs> so. Look, looking ahead, um, let's say the next 12 months, so two part question, so looking ahead in the next 12 months, what would you like for your career? And the other thing, obviously, Scotland's got a wealth of, uh, boxing sort of history is that a place you would like to box one day too 
Uh, I'll start with that one first. Yeah. Uh, I cannot wait to box at home. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting a chance to box back in Scotland. Obviously, all my Scottish family are up there. I have lots of friends. I grew up there. So they're all desperate for me to come back home to box. And it would be an amazing experience to do that. Excellent. Um, in the next 12 months. Yep. So I've got my second pro fight on the 15th of July uh, at York Hall. Perfect. Um, and I'm really looking forward to that. And hopefully by the end of this year, looking to get an, another couple of fights in. So maybe four or five fights by the end of this year. Um, and I'd like to move towards a European title. That's where I'd like to go. Excellent. So regarding your second pro fight that's coming up, only a couple of weeks away, yep. um, how much do you know about your opponent and what can we expect from you on the night? What are you hoping to put on? I'm hoping to put on a really good show, actually. Um, I love getting in the ring. I, yep. like, I, I really look forward to it, actually, the night. Um, she is a really experienced fighter, she's had loads of fights, she's boxed loads of the big names like Celia Brackow, she's been in with Maria Lindbergh, she's been in with Kelly Morgan, wow. right, so she's been in with everybody and uh, she's a little bit shorter than me so it's a great experience for me to learn boxing with someone who's a little bit shorter uh, but it'll be six two minute rounds which I'm um, looking forward to. I like having more rounds, it's always good. Good, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I think we're going to put on a good show and a few fireworks I think. Within the rankings, is she sort of close by, higher, lower? Um, she is a little bit lower than me in the rankings, mm -hmm. um, but very, very experienced. So, yeah. So it'd be a good test for you. A good test, yeah. Excellent. Listen, before we go, um, is there anybody you want to give a quick shout out to? Um... Obviously, I'd like to give a massive shout out to Kelly Morgan, who's my teammate. I work with her a lot. Um, and also to all the girls that I spar with um, up at Team GB. And, uh, all the girls who are in the amateur game right now that are my sparring partners, they've been great at helping me out. So yeah, massive shout out to everybody. Excellent. Hannah, listen, been a quality chat today. Um, I know you've got a shoot off and now do your music, music business. So yeah. listen, all the best with that as well. Thank you. Um, and it's been a pleasure and we'll catch up soon. Thank you very Good luck much. for the 15th. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>